what is illegal, but people continue to do openly without consequences. Littering. People driving while on their phone. Airbnb. In a lot of places. Wage theft almost never gets meaningful consequences. Stealing a million dollars from your employees by shorting their hours and doing other intentional labor code and other violations should be treated precisely as harshly as an employee walking out with the safe with a million dollars in it. I see at least three red lights run on a daily basis. Celebrities open drug use. Professional athletes drug use. Politicians doing shit that would get us arrested. Use tax. Where I live. If you buy something in another state without sales tax. But bring it back to your home state. You have to send your home state the tax you should have paid if bought locally. Even if it's pants. Let me get right on that. Politicians accepting bribes. Parking in such a way you don't just have a wheel on the curb. But actively block the whole pavement. A wheelchair using neighbor gets so fed up of it and I can't blame her. Well for the past 10 years. Open corruption in the Australian government. Media barely addressed it. And when they did. Nothing happened or forgot about it. Hauling more than the legal weight limit in dump trucks. I did a project a few years ago for my former employer because they noticed all the contractors that they hired were carrying more than the legal weight limit. This is a big issue because these trucks have increased stopping distances and are more likely to injure, kill people in the cars they hit. My company was pissed because they didn't want to be legally responsible if there were an accident. They had me analyze how much it would cost to buy a fleet of dump trucks. But it turns out you can't make much money hauling at the legal limit. So all dump trucks carry like twice the limit and just take the fines when way stations are open because it is way cheaper. Pretty messed up. Honestly. I felt like I did humanity a disservice telling them it wouldn't be worth it. If you ever get hit by a dump truck you can almost certainly sue them for being above the weight limit. But nobody really knows this. Note. This depends on the legal weight limits in your region. But I know this to be true for most of the Northeast US. Insider trading. Wage theft on an epic scale. The number of hourly workers getting raw fucked out of the hard-earned wages by shitty bosses is insane. Keep track of your hours worked and validated against your time card. Downloading cars. Bribing a politician. Oh I'm sorry. Lobbying. Not using blinkers. Tell their employees they can't talk about their wages with coworkers. Speeding. Urinating in public usually happens near parks of some sort. It's illegal as many if not all countries but only a few enforce it or watch for it. Not sure if this is UK only but watching TV without a TV license tears of joy BBC are a bunch of wankers anyway. In some areas. Feeding the meter aka putting more money in a parking meter when it's close to running out of time. The reason parking meters have a time limit, one hour. 2 hours, is Bequasse they want to force cars to leave after that time. Generally when the parking is for commercial businesses so they can have turnover for customers. If you max it out. Then come back and add more time. You're extending your cars stay past that limit and can. In theory. Be ticketed. Pretty much no one enforces it. However. Holding salmon suspiciously. Lots of churches being openly political the last few years. Pirating various media. Movies. Music. Games etc. I've never heard of anybody getting any kind of serious punishment for this. The most I heard was someone being given a notice by their ISP for exceeding the fair use cap on their downloads. I bought a $4,000 computer in Oregon and had my company ship it to me in California. I pay plenty of California taxes so no shame. Jaywalking. Only very few places are there consequences such as certain parts of California. But other places. Police aren't even allowed to ticket you. Pump and dumps. Ponzi schemes large market manipulation and fraud. Yet we keep bailing out and supporting the financial institutions that enable. Support and participate in it. I'd like to also add insider trading. On top of that politicians trading on non-public knowledge should be illegal but isn't. Teenagers drinking alcohol. Doing drugs and doing absolute stupid shit. Cruising in the pass only lane. People refuse to leash their dogs even in city parks or streets. Despite the fact that parks have signs everywhere stating it's illegal and you'll receive a fine.
I unfortunately think it just doesn't get enforced. And everyone thinks their dog is the best dog ever. And hash X200B. It is extremely annoying when you have a reactive dog that freaks the fuck out when your good boy comes at us at a full sprint. And hash X200B. Leash your fucking dogs. Fireworks. Driving on the highway 20 km per hour above the speed limit. 21 is usually fine. 22 is risky. 23 is looking for trouble. Statutory rape is illegal. But the majority of US states have legal chili marriages, look it up. Closing parenthesis dot. If whoever you vote for is voting against making 18 the minimal marriage age. You are voting for the wrong person. Minnesota made it 18 just a few years ago. A bit late but happy it was done. Defrauding the ever-loving fuck out of Wall Street. Cocaine while being rich. Congressmen lying to the public for partisan political gain. They say it is free speech. But all federal employees and all legislators and those in their employ sign an agreement to limit their public speech and to follow particular ethic rules to avoid any kind of appearance of partisanship or corruption. If a complaint is found to be legitimate it can be referred to the DOJ for prosecution. Despite volunteering to take this oath, certain legislators have found fame by attacking others in a partisan manner. Even spreading misinformation about vaccines is also illegal for senators, reps. Carrying a sharpie. In some places, it's considered an item of graffiti. So therefore it's illegal to carry one around. Fishing, hunting without proper license. Aka poaching. Nestle. Politicians insider trading. Inciting an armed mob to storm the Capitol building in an attempt to overturn the results of a free and fair election. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.